it's JJ, and this is Travel Tuesday with Today with JJ. As you can see by the title of the video, we are going to the wonderful island of Bermuda. While Bermuda is known for its pink sand beaches and sophisticated tastes, also think about specialty shopping, global cuisine, great golf, and exceptional sailing. The island is also rich in simple and affordable pleasures. If you're looking for what to do in Bermuda, you've come to the right place. These are my 10 amazing things to do on the island of Bermuda. Number one on the list is the historic St. George. Did you know that St. George was one of the first English towns established in the New World? In 2000, this historic town of St. George became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And like its contemporaries, St. George holds firm to its colonial roots. When you visit, you'll pass the same town hall that the settlers used hundreds of years ago. During peak summer season, period actors roam the winding streets simulating the old days. There are even townspeople scented to the stocks. It's a super amazing and once in a lifetime experience. Number two on the list is Horseshoe Bay Beach. Southampton Parish's Horseshoe Bay is the most photographed beach in Bermuda making it hard to score a prime spot on the sand, especially if a cruise ship is in town. The blushing sand at Horseshoe is gorgeous at any time of year, but the water is chilly from September to May. But even in the colder months, Horseshoe is a great spot for a romantic stroll along the sand. Number three on the list is the Royal Naval Dockyard. The Royal Naval Dockyard is a picturesque way to break from the pink sand beaches. In fact, if you're visiting during Bermuda's chillier seasons, it could end up being the highlight of your trip. The site was once the principal base of the Royal Navy in the Western Atlantic Ocean, but now it's a tourist marina and cruise ship dock that's stocked with waterfront restaurants, art galleries, quaint shops, and a few pubs. You'll also find the National Museum of Bermuda and the kid-friendly Dolphin Quest Water Program here. Number four on the list is Crystal and Fantasy Caves. The Crystal Caves of Bermuda and otherworldly network of caves and subterranean lakes was first discovered in 1901 by two Bermudian boys who were trying to track down a lost cricket ball. What they eventually uncovered is now one of Bermuda's true hidden treasures, a cavernous watery world complete with centuries old stalactites and stalagmites. Today, guided tours takes you deep inside these two Ice Age era caves where you'll descend about 120 feet below ground for an unearthly natural experience. A word of caution though, a tour through the crystal caves of Bermuda is not for the faint of heart or for the claustrophobic. The spaces that lead to the caverns are tight and currently tour group sizes have been limited and the times are subject to fluctuate. Number five on the list is the city of Hamilton. Located right in the middle of the main island, Pretty Hamilton is the beating epicenter of Bermuda's cultural life. Hamilton has some of the most enchanting colonial relics in all of Bermuda. You can also check out Bermuda National Gallery, which beckons tons of collections and ex exhibitions of a local artist. 
while Monty's and the Robin Hood Pub has the town's British roots in their hearty ales and cuisine. Number six on the list is Front Street. Front Street is the main thoroughfare of Bermuda's capital town, Hamilton, with colorful colonial buildings on the north side of the street and the sparkling harbor on the south. You'll love taking a stroll down this photo-worthy stretch. While exploring, stop into a boutique or a high-end shop, sit down for lunch at one of the many restaurants, or people watch as locals head to and from their office buildings. When the sun sets, the area becomes a hot spot for nightlife and entertainment. Number seven on the list is Swizzlin. Bermuda has two national drinks, the Dark and Stormy, made with Gosling's Black Sea Rum and Ginger Beer, and the Rum Swizzle, a not-so-sweet punch originally invented at the Swizzlin when it opened in 1932. In those days, the Bailey's Bay Dive Bar was a converted 17th century roadhouse that served potent rum drinks and Bermuda fish chowder. Nearly 90 years later, not much has changed. In fact, graffiti from decades of customers is still scribbled all over the walls. Anything goes, which is why you are encouraged to swizzle in and swagger out. Number eight on the list is St. Peter's Church. Built in 1612, St. Peter's Church in St. George's Parish is considered to be the oldest Anglican church outside of the British Isles that is still in use. It is named the UNESCO World Heritage Site, along with the rest of the historic St. George. This place of worship has seen numerous repairs and renovations over time, including an extensive rebuild after the hurricane in the 1710s. But the original altar and centuries old artifacts like communion silver from the 1600s and the throne rescued from an 1800s shipwreck still remain. Number nine on the list is Bermuda Aquarium Museum and Zoo. Founded in 1926, the government-owned and operated Bermuda Aquarium Museum and Zoo is one of the world's oldest aquariums. The facility offers a variety of, of activities to engage you, such as animal feedings, arts and crafts, animal story times, and even a guided snorkeling expedition. The seven acre complex is home to more than 200 species of fish and marine life. You can also find over 300 bird species, reptiles, and mammals. After checking out the aquarium and zoo, head to the National Museum of Bermuda and learn more about the impact humans have on Bermuda's ecosystem through interactive exhibits. 10 on the list is Port Royale Golf Club. If you like star sightings while you putt, then the prestigious Port Royale Golf Course will not let you down. This is the golf course of choice for vacationing celebrities and PGA greats. Originally designed by famed course architect Robert Trent Jones in 1970, the Port Royale Golf Course of Southampton Parish was refurbished in 2009 to the tune of $14.5 million. It now features resort fairways and tree boxes, a new irrigation system, and a clubhouse. At more than 6,500 yards, it is Bermuda's longest greenway. Yay, you have made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for making it this far. I would love to know where you're watching from. So please do not forget to comment down below. Also remember, the best time to visit Bermuda 
is in March or April when the temperature weather becomes pleasant for beach bathing. Hotel prices during these months aren't as high as they are in Bermuda's busy season, which is from May to October. The great thing about Bermuda is that there's so many free things to do, family-friendly things to do, and also is great for couples and honeymooners. If I have missed anything on this list, please do not forget to comment down below because it helps more than you know. I love and enjoy making these videos. So to support the channel, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video if it helped you in any way, and also don't forget to click the bell notification so you're notified every time we travel the world. So have a safe, fun time on the beautiful island of Bermuda. And until next Travel Tuesday, see you later. Bye.